The Rise and Fall and Rise of Japan. These are five pictures of Tokyo put together to form a panorama. They were taken in the 1860s. At the same time, cities like London, Paris, and New York looked like this. With factories, steamboats, and railroads. While industrialization was in full swing in Western Europe and North America, Japan was essentially still a medieval society. Yet just 80 years later, Japan had cars, trams, trains, aircraft carriers, cargo ships, and a vast colonial empire. By the 1940s, the average Japanese was about as rich as the average Italian. It was the first country that managed to catch up with the developed nations of its time and became an example for others to follow. The time before Japan's industrialization is called the Tokugawa period. Japan isolated itself from the rest of the world, but they were fully aware of the outside world. In the 1850s, foreign warships arrived in Japan, armed with cannons that could set wooden structures on fire. Japan realized their cannons had a shorter range than those of Western powers, leaving them vulnerable. The US, Russians, and British all arrived in Japan in the 1850s because they wanted to make trade with China more profitable. Japan was forced to sign treaties that allowed foreign powers to establish embassies, open certain ports to trade, and have special privileges. These treaties were a complete humiliation for Japan and showed their government's incompetence. In 1868, the Japanese government was overthrown, and Emperor Meiji came to power. The new government's goal was to survive and remain independent. They adopted Western institutions, welcomed foreigners and foreign ideas, and created a central government. Japan set the ambitious goal of catching up with technologically advanced nations. They copied Western institutions and invested in factories, combining government wealth with professional know-how. To illustrate their industrialization, let's look at the example of Hokkaido. The government feared Russian colonization, so they developed the island to such an extent that it would be too powerful to colonize. They introduced large-scale farming techniques, imported seeds, and introduced new livestock. Canals were dug, windmills were built, and roads were paved. Japan's rise from a medieval society to an industrial powerhouse was a remarkable achievement. They embraced change, adopted new technologies, and invested in their future. Japan's story serves as an inspiration for other countries facing similar challenges. By learning from Japan's history, we can better understand our own futures. If you like this video then please smash the like button, smash the subscribe.